In this video, we're going to be looking at all of the tools that you can do with kit.ai, which is a fantastic tool for musicians. Hey everyone, this is Barry from Music Tech Info. Hope you're doing well today. So in this video, we're looking at kit.ai. Now kit.ai has a lot of different uh, functionality in terms of tools for music producers, for maybe vocalists, for so many you know, musicians, etc. You're able to try it for free, which is really good, but obviously there's a paid plan as well. But it was fairly inexpensive in terms of credits that you can use, which is really good. Now, they've got this, honestly, you can change the vocal to um, a different voice. Um, you can play any instrument. You can isolate vocals, 100% royalty free as well. So we've got an original here. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Let's hear the example. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. I mean, that's pretty outstanding. Um, you're able to create your own AI singing clone if you want to as well, which is really cool. Um, so I think that's very clever. So you train the model. I'm afraid of God that you never met. And then the clone will do its own thing based on your vocal. When we were 15. So that can be really useful. Um, there's also AI mastering. There's vocal remover tool, so AI mastering. And I see brave to Doesn't sound too bad. After. And I see brave to oh, I can really hear the difference there. That's brilliant, actually. So it will do mastering for you. It'll also remove vocals like this. And I see brave to pieces. And I see brave to pieces. Put your fear. I was going to say, I've got confused then. It's it's just the, the vocal, which is brilliant. Lots of good feedback. Um, they do say that it's fair artist compensation for artists. So it, it says here, and this stuff's really important, you know. And I appreciate not everything I feature on this channel is always ethically responsible, but it's important for me to share the news of what's going on with AI music tools. So it says responsible data sourcing. Every voice used in our models is ethically licensed and securely sourced via kits with the artists themselves. There's no unauthorized scraping of artists' work with this platform. Artists are directly benefited from the use of the vocal data in the artistic model library through dynamic with revenue sharing models. So they get paid for um, using their vocals, for example. And it allows vocalists and producers to have more control over their sound, um, which is brilliant. So I'm really impressed with it. They've been doing research. What else have they got? Spend time, less time in the studio and more time creating. So these, I mean, look at this, guys. There's just so much here. You've got AI voice cloning, you've got AI singing generators, vocal remover, AI mastering, stem splitter, vocal blending, AI instrument library, kits earn, where you're able to start earning passive income if you want to put your vocals on the model. Uh, you've got APIs on here, there's harmonies you can do, text-to-speech, voice designer, voice variants, key and beats per minute finder, and speaking voices. Um, there's a huge singing generator library of artists. I mean, it's huge. That's just a few of them. And um, you can get started for free. So they do have a free plan. Um, obviously, that's fairly limited. And they do have various um, pricing models. So we're going to quickly touch on that now in terms of the annual, you get 20% off. With the monthly plan, you're looking at about 11.99 which allows you to train two voices um, with 15 minutes a month, as well as unlimited conversions. I'm not gonna go through the features in this. You can see that in other, it's quite similar to be fair, and uh, really about credit. So $25 a month will allow you to use five custom voice slots with 60 download minutes with unlimited conversions. And the $60 a month is for 12. So. There's, it gives you a lot there. I encourage you to have a look at it if you if you want to know which plan you want to work with. Um, download minutes is obviously when you're, you're clicking on download and how many minutes that actually takes. There are little tricks you can do. For example, if you've got like silences in vocals, you might want to cut them. But for me, I'd rather just pay the money and just have less hassle on that. Like for example, I've just done five vocal stems to improve the vocals on this tool. Whereas actually, I could have cut it and saved some credits, but the amount of work to have to then fit it back into my digital audio workstation is quite 
is quite a lot. Um, there's a desktop app as well if you want. They have a blog. They've got Studio, then they've got Voice Changes, Voice Cloning, Kits Earn, and this is how you access all of them. So if I just go back now to, I wanna go back to App, to the actual App Studio section. So it's not like it's own digital audio workstation or anything like that, but it allows you to really change voices, clone voices, master your tracks, split the stems, it'll do. There's so much on here. Now, what I've been looking at mainly, um, if I can find it, is this. It's called AI vo vo Vocal Repair. This is brand new, guys, okay? So the idea with this, if you're just recording your vocals with like, I don't know, an iPhone, it's not professional at all, and say it's low-end microphone quality, then this will reprocess your vocals with AI technology and improve on it. And you can also add effects in here. So if I just give you a bit of an example, this is the original, if I go to here, I'm just trying to let it load, but it's not loading, bear with me. Okay, let's try this one, original, there we go. So have a listen to this. Negative. Illusion. Confusion. Okay, now if I go to enhanced, have a listen to the difference. Negative. Illusion. Confusion. Can you see how much better that sounds? That sounds so much better. So what you do is you click on AI Vocal Repair. Uh, repair. You can record your audio or just upload a WAV file or MP3 file. And then what you then do, I'll just do one now actually, allow this time. Hello, this is just a test. <laughs> have a listen to this one hello this is just a test okay and then you click on repair now you did have various settings so while it's doing that you can auto EQ it you can have a different auto EQ profile for example you might want to choose bright as an example you've then got strength of how much you want to actually change that um, you've then got other tools such as Widen, Delay, Compressor and Reverb that you can just activate if you want to. Now that's nearly done. So I was impressed with those, the fact that you can have those extra settings on top of trying to repair vocals. It may be that you've got like old demos from like decades ago that you want to actually revitalize and put in brand new tracks. So for things like that, it can be really, really useful. Um, you've also got the option with the output of having it with instruments, so it'll try and detect it within the the um, production or a cappella on its own. So I just think it's pretty incredible. And this is brand new. So we've just finished, literally. So I'm just going to click on original just to hear it first. No, this is just a test. <laughs> okay, let's have a listen to the finished version, shall we? I know this is just a test. Wow, the difference there, that's really interesting. Like, really good. I'm impressed with that. So AI mastering is quite straightforward. Again, you've got various tools like Lush, Punch and Air, Tape Glue. So you've got different things. You can isolate your vocals if you want to, where you get the option to remove instrumental, remove backing vocals only, remove reverb, remove noise. So if you've got a fully produced track and you actually want to put it back to bare bones, but you don't have like the dry vocals, for example, you can do that. Key and beats per minute finder is great for things like covers. That can be really useful. Cloning your own voice. And this is where it gets really kind of scary for me. It's quite amazing what you can do with this. Um, so you've got professional voice cloning or instant voice cloning. So create a vo voice using only 30 seconds of vocal files. You've got voice designer. You can blend two voices together just amazing what you can do. Harmonies is quite a good one because how many times have you done harmonies? Um, let me just try this. Today is a Friday. Okay. Uh, I don't know what key, so I'm going to select auto on that one. Pitch correction. I'm going to leave that on 50%. I'll leave it on harmony. I can select up to four different voices. Okay. So let's have a look. So good when we slow. 
Okay, I'm definitely going to choose that artist twice. Third above, original. Fullness, I'm going to improve to three. I'm not going to put any other effects, and I'm going to click convert. All right, good. Now, I'm hoping this won't take much time. And what I really like about this, you can see it's progressing here. What I really like about this is it's really based on download time, okay? So you're hearing the output, and if you're happy with it, then you're downloading it. So there's so many AI platforms out there now that do these subscription models where it's you download it's it's based on generation credits rather than download credits so that's like so much better it really is so much better okay so let's have a quick listen to the original today is a friday okay that was not the original this was the original today is a friday so that's the first generation. Let's have a listen to the second. Today is a Friday. <laughs> have a listen to the output. Today, Today is, is a Friday. Friday. Wow, can you see how it's it's layered it later? That's really quite interesting. So there's quite a delay there. That's interesting. You may not want that, but I mean, just to have a quick look at these some of these quality voices. Let's have a let's have a very quick look at this. So we've got female. Bedroom pop. I could live forever with nothing. Female pop disco. I know that you miss me. And Female boy EDM. I don't want Smooth male pop. And you can take my breath. Very impressed what you can do with this. I mean, that is amazing. You got my voices to train your own, which is great. If you do want to train your own voice, just to let you know, you click on new voice and then you say professional. And what you do is you upload 10 to 30 minutes of recorded vocals and then it will clone and train the model. It takes a bit of time to do that. You just need to leave it, okay? Um, if I go back and now I need to create a voice again. So I'll just go forward. Okay, it's playing up a tiny bit. Clone voices. You can also have the option to only use 30 seconds of your vocal. I just think it's amazing. Um, so yeah, if you want to isolate your vocals, if you want to repair them, you want to master tracks or vocals, you want to split the stems of a track, you want key and BPM finder, you want to clone your vocal or use other people's vocals that will get paid for doing that. You can change your voice as well. Um, Show have a quick listen to Voice Changer. So let's upload a cappella or full song. Upload a cappella or full song. Okay, and I'm going to browse voice models and I'm going to choose smooth male pop. Oh, did it not remember that? Smooth male pop. Smooth male pop and then selected voices. Oh, okay. I'm a bit stuck with this one What is going on here add audio to convert with and I've done that. Oh, sorry. There's a done button oh, God. Okay It's a Friday Creating your project loading project pitch detection changing voice Wow you get an audit trail, you've got download, you can share links, you can bin them. Listen to this. It's a fire. What happened there? Friday. There we go, it did do it. It's a fire day. Pretty amazing, right? So yeah, so that is kits.ai. I'll put a link in the description. Please make sure that you subscribe if you're interested in AI music tools for yourself. And I'll catch you on the next video. Take care. Bye.